And away we go. It's another... Hey, the show has started. We are live on the air here at WWGH Radio 107.1 FM, and it's going to be a long hour. I can feel it already. This is the third installment of the podcast slash radio show is what it's become, Paper Rings. I am your moderator, Scott Spears, along with Abby Croman and Michelle Whitaker, and boy, do we have a show tonight. Now, the reason this was advertised on Facebook is because the last time we did this live, there was no advertisement that we were doing this because essentially it is a podcast, but I had people messaging me saying, was that live? Can we call in? Blah, 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 blah. So we are live, and now it's on Facebook. But this will be the only time you ever hear this on the air. There will not be a repeat of this on the air. This will be podcast YouTube only. Paper Rings, podcast, and I think there's four of them there. This will be the fourth one. This is the fourth installment. So let's bring in Abby and Michelle, who were talking right up till we started and now not saying a word. So that's perfect. That's go. the way things go. You told me to be quiet. No, I did not. You did, you, was, you did snap not. at us. I did not. Well, that's happened once before. <laughs> But I've never really snapped at anybody. Mm -hmm. You snap at me every single day. You are the worst person I've ever seen texting on their phone in the middle of a live broadcast. I got stuff to say. I've never... (laughs) (laughs) Apparently not. Now, today we've got a lot of big topics today, but the first topic we've got to get into because it's the topic of the day and when people listen to this podcast and they say, what was going on in the world back in March of 2020? They will say one word coronavirus holy moly we've lost our minds and i wish i could say something different than minds we've lost it we've lost it we really have lost it at this point there are four people diagnosed in ohio uh the ncaa has no crowds there are after school activities that are being canceled left and right there are ohio state is not having classes at least until the beginning of april marion tech is not having classes we've all lost our minds you can't go in the grocery store and buy more than five items of certain things hand sanitizers in trouble my lord what do we do um i just think it's crazy yeah OU's not having classes either. Someone I think like all me. of the colleges. I gave now you guys like are, the biggest build up there in the yeah. world, and it was like we went right off the end of a cliff. I think it the was problem was that you really covered it all. So I was like, what am I even supposed to say to that? <laughs> Scott just covered it. No, it's what do you think about the coronavirus? What I, do, you, do you think that we have lost it? Yes. Do you think the governor needs to stop going on television every day? Is he? I haven't watched TV every at day. All. Every day, and at telling two. us every. Well, no, this is the state of the state today. Mm-hmm. This is where we're going mm-hmm. today. Stop it. Go to the go to the mansion. Go to the governor's office and do something else. Push some papers around on your desk. Stop scaring people. You're sc- you can't get into a nursing home now. You can't visit your prisoners, your loved ones in prison. It's insane. I, I get the nursing homes. Those are the ones that will like you know would like die from. I mean they, they, those ones are most at risk. But I, don't I don't want understand. anybody to die. I All I'm either. saying is I think we're a little amped up. Here. I agree. There's a difference between being informed and being like made to panic. I think right. we're being like made to panic right now. Four people. And nobody has died in Ohio, by the way, right. at this point. Okay? Four people. Four people died today texting while driving. We haven't cleared the streets until so epidemic. Mm-hmm. Shut shut the streets down. I mean, it's getting a little too much. Mm-hmm. I, I agree. It's a lot. So he's been on TV every day? Every day. He I comes on at 2 TV. o'clock. He comes on at 2 o'clock and he says, listen, I'm the governor. Here's what's going on today. <laughs> And blah, blah, blah. (laughs) And then he brings a doctor on. I don't know who she is. She comes on and she tries to answer questions. And then we all go back to doing what we're doing and say, oh, my gosh, look what happened today. Right. All right. Great. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So why do you think people are buying toilet paper? I'm confused about that. Because I think that's how you're supposed to bleach. It's bleach, toilet paper, and hand sanitizer. Bleach? I haven't even heard that. Clorox. Clorox is what they're saying. I do have Clorox. Bleach. I don't have... Maybe I don't think you're I not going to go out and buy this, are you? It's not going to well, help no. you. What am I going to do? It's like it's like nine eleven. Remember, duct tape and plastic were supposed to save you from a terrorist attack. Right. It isn't going to happen. I, 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 I don't, I don't remember, remember that, that though. <laughs> I, I do. don't remember duct tape and plastic. Listen, there's a good chance if like I remember it, you guys remember it. Ah, uh, Scott. Did you see that? Speaking of toilet paper, that the family says they accidentally ordered twelve years worth of toilet paper. <laughs> Seriously, that's the news well, story. I tell you, they were kind of psychic <laughs> in a way. They're ready for this corona thing. Yeah. They're good to go. 12 years worth. That's so, crazy. So that's our medical update for today. We really yep. got nothing to say about but it. I think, I think it is just stop panicking. Stop panicking. 
Be informed. We, get the information you need. I'm buy some hand sanitizer I, and I, chill out. I've said it once. I'll say it again. These kids who aren't going to class, you think they're not in the bars? You think they're not in the grocery store? You think they're not at Walmart? They're out there. This did nothing. Right. It did yeah, nothing. they're at the gym. I'd be at the gym. I see colleges oh, right there, after. So you don't want to go. Shut the gyms right. down. Yeah. Yeah, the gyms are nasty. Definitely nasty. I think colleges are canceling can after spring break, right? Because of the international travel. Like they want it's a two week thing. Why can we so not have NCAA? Why can't why are you know what it's going to sound like with know. those squeaky shoes and basketballs and no crowd in those arenas? Yeah, that's yeah. You know, they're, so they're canceling before spring breaks. Uh, yeah, some people have, yeah. But like Ohio State started their own spring break this week and canceling then for like the next two weeks okay, well that makes... because of okay. international travel. All right. So, I, I mean, I understand sort of, I do understand that but sort of. they don't ask for your papers. They just, because I, I had this at a nursing home today. I went and visited somebody at a nursing home and the doors were locked when they never are locked. And I had to punch a button and some little person came outside and said, uh, have you had uh, overseas travel in the last six months? Well, I, I just said no, but I could have. I mean, what are they gonna? How you? How you? Do, how do you know? Right, they don't. They, they don't just take your word. You can just lie. But are you trying to get in there and like? Kill well, the I mean, old how did, with I your was virus? there for a story. How okay. did it get here? Somebody had to lie. Well, that was the right. thing with the guy down south right? now, right? Because right. it's like a community thing. So he, they have no idea how he contracted it. He hasn't been overseas, oh, and he man. hasn't been whatever. So now he's like this newest mystery People get case. the flu. People get a cold. Uh, I you, don't uh, disagree with you. I'm just saying. You know what this is about? It's because they don't have a cure. And that's what's scaring people because they can't put you on antibiotics. They can't give you NyQuil. They can't give mm-hmm. you a, a thing. To, and if you have a bad immune system, it could kill you. But like with the flu, it's the same way. They basically just treat the symptoms. I mean. Are these people even sick? That the gov- I want the governor to parade these four people out there every day at 2 o'clock. Now, that would make the thing more entertaining. Bring them out <laughs> and let's see them. Bring out the sick people. Let's see how they look. So you think they're just like causing hysteria? For, like there's no people? Stop. Are they making it up? Do you think no, it's a cover up? Is this a conspiracy up? theory? No, no, for no, something no, else? No, no, no. no, it's it's real, but it's just it's creating hysteria by doing it this way, by Maybe. putting it on the front page of the newspaper, by putting it yesterday. As soon as I heard the uh, state of emergency, immediate. Oh, Marianne's got the coronavirus. No, we don't, and we we haven't. And then it was. Oh, the governor is going to make an announcement today that's going to be major. We're going to be quarantined into our houses. No. Maybe right. toilet paper sales were down and hand sanitizer sales. No, they never are. Mm. Toilet paper is something that never goes out of style. I think we should make it a conspiracy theory. I can get behind that. I love a good but conspiracy But people get theory. angry about this now because they are serious, especially a certain group of people. I, mean, I got, I I got an angry that. email about this yesterday when I came on and did my little soliloquy in the morning on this. I got kind of a... Um, it wasn't nasty, but it was... You know, you need to be more serious about this. and It's a serious thing people need to be informed about. They just don't need to be crazy. They if don't you're need sick, to be go to the mean. doctor. Or stay home. Stay home. If you're sick, stay home. If it's something the doctor is not going to fix, just stay home. Everybody thinks they have it now. Here, We've had the worst flu season in the history of the flu, I think. So now every time somebody coughs or sneezes, they think they have coronavirus. It's it's insane. Yeah, it's still flu season, right? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, through yeah. April. Got to make it through that. Ooh. Then it's allergy Boy. season. I don't do my allergies shot, are already bad. I have not really gotten sick with. Maybe I had coronavirus a few oh, weeks gosh. ago when I didn't feel good. That was last week. Well, yeah, and I didn't know what I had. I guess I was. You exposed. know, somebody sent me a nice letter at home. I don't know how they got my address, That's but they sent me. <laughs> they sent me a <laughs> nice creepy, letter. Really creepy. I listened to you every day, and I heard you weren't feeling very well. I hope you're feeling better now. And. It's they nice. send you some Dayquil, so you didn't take the Nyquil. The Nyquil. Oh, was at least like I slept well. Powder in that envelope. Like, what are they doing to you? No, I mean, but you didn't. Well, no. It's one of those things. I don't know. Just like I get emails, well, I get letters. Scott's weird fan club. What used to be? What was the powder that? Remember anthrax. 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 There you go. <laughs> I'm, anthrax. I'm having a blank. Well, she jumped it's been all a over long that day. one. It was like Jeopardy. Anthrax. Been Bam. a long day. Before we get to the topic, though, today, this this created... Uh, somebody even asked me about this today, so this is fun. What are you doing? <laughs> because my <laughs> sister is messaging me, God love her. What is she doing? What's your sister doing? I, I don't know. I hope she's listening. I told yeah, her I was going live. Well, what's her name? Uh, my sister is Sarah. Sarah. Hello, Sarah. We hope you're listening. We hope you listen to this at some point. Hello, Sarah. We do shout-outs. I don't know if she's listening or not. Oh, she is listening. She Hi, is. sister. All right, Sarah. Hello. Your sister's a little difficult to deal with. I hate to tell you. Well, I, I don't. I cannot say on air what it is that she said. 
she's like, can Did I she call? say nice things? She said, not, I mean, about us. But she didn't say anything bad, but she was like, can I call in and say something? Which call I in. Steer. I would love her to call in. Go ahead. 740-383-9944. Go ahead. She, call in. You're going to want a sensor button real No, quick. no. You, listen, it's radio. You can't, you know, off to cut you off. You, ha- you worry about my How mouth? old is this person? She's older than I am. She's is this the one who lives in, in uh, New York? Yeah. Oh, so she oh, was call like, in. Tell, okay, us about, sister, tell us about the corona in New York. Call in, sister, and tell us about corona there. She said that they're not. it's not here. She just texted me like as I sat down and said she couldn't believe that schools here were closing. Well, of course, because you know, River Valley is closing on Friday. But um, it's not that panicked in New York, I guess. Things are starting to pick up. I don't up, know. But I saw their governor on TV today, too. He's maybe, on Maybe, but she, you know, they don't close like New York public school system there. Yeah, they got rats the size of beavers. She said, that she said we don't want to know what she has to say. Well, why listen, not? You think we want to know? I mean, she listen. They get on. They get on my mouth about my mouth. Scott gets on me about my mouth every day. Well, every day you walk into a school and you say some things that maybe shouldn't be said. I got it. I don't say things at the school all that those, I shouldn't be said. All those kids are saying everything at those that school. Those kids could teach me are a thing kidding? or two. Yeah, but I don't. You know, I don't like to hear that sort of thing. I like to keep it clean and <laughs> clandestine at school. Okay. Oh, my okay. gosh. You're so full of it. Just because I have to say it like it is sometimes. No, you say it like you think it is. It's not that at all. No, I keep it pretty real, Scott. Not really. Moving on to the next topic tonight. Topic anyway. number two. Yes. Yeah, all right. Because somebody asked me about this today, and it, what, it, it got something like 60 comments and a lot of views. The video. The, uh, yes. and and There you go. Why do you, <laughs> say, why do you say it like that? No, now, here's the truth of this video, okay? Okay. Now, Abby made this little video of, oh, I hope this is her. Oh, Lord. I hope I this know. is her. I don't know. She didn't say, so uh, I'm not it sure. It could be. Okay. It's somebody definitely not of this area. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. You're on the air. <laughs> Hi. Sister, that's, her. that's her. <laughs> <laughs> you knew by her laugh. <laughs> yes. Hey, how's it going? It's good. How are you guys? Doing well. She's never heard me oh. on air before. She was like, yay, sister. When I started, I was like, I gotta I go. Have it. it happened to be, like, very serendipitous. I was looking... I was texting my sister, and then all of a sudden she was like, I'm going live. And so then, of course, I had to check it out. That's that's cool. We're glad you're listening. How are things in New York? Things are good. Um, I was telling Abby that, you know, I think it's kind of crazy that you guys have canceled schools and things like that because, it's, I mean, yes, universities are closed here, but my kids go to New York City public schools, and they are not closing at all. Um I think it'll probably be a case-by-case basis, but it's just such a large school system with over a million kids in it that I just don't think that they will be able to just sort of mass close the whole... Sister, they don't even close for, like, weather there, you said, though, right? No, no, no. We have, like... We didn't have any snow days this year, but last year, last three years, I think we've had, like, one per year. So they very rarely close schools. It has to be really, really crazy, like, blizzard conditions since a lot of kids, you know, walk to school every day. Now, does your governor get on the TV every day at 2 o'clock and give us the state of the illness? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, there you more go. Than, it's That's pretty crazy. much more than twice a day, really. Um, more than just 2 o'clock. It's probably two or three times a day, really, at this point. So New um, York's a state of emergency, too? Yeah. And, I mean, there's a lot of cases now. I mean, I think there's over 200. I think the last count I heard was around 212 um, in New York. So do you think we're panicking, sister? Like, I say they need to be I informed, Ohio, I not... I think Ohio is panicking, but yeah. I guess in the in the big scheme of things, I don't know. I kind of want to say, like, better safe than sorry. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say. I think for the very few cases that are in Ohio yeah. have been confirmed. Although, like I said before in my text, that, you know, you just started testing, and I just have a feeling that this virus has probably been around for much longer than we even know about. Um, and we're just starting to see, like the peaks of it in certain places not even the peaks of it just it's starting to grow exponentially in different places so what do you um, what do you feel like though when you have it have you heard about this what, what i mean it's just like the flu isn't it you get a bad it, cough yeah but i actually heard it's a lot worse there was a guy that was in new jersey so clearly we get that news as well and it's you know this tri-state area but there was a guy in new jersey who was by all accounts relatively healthy he was in his 30s claimed that he wasn't a smoker or a drinker, um, like a physician's assistant, and he's been hospitalized, and he says it's, like, the worst he's ever felt, and, like, basically can't talk without coughing, and bricks on his chest, and pretty, pretty intense. I think it's a very, very, very intense form of the flu. I don't think it's just the normal flu. 
Um, so Scott had the sniffles last week, and he thought he was dying. The sniffles. Do you think I mean, that he Scott, would survive I mean, the coronavirus? Or I mean, he is a man. Right. So you last know, week I had to go get him like pretzels and diet coke just to make it through the day it, it wasn't was the sniffles absolutely listen i i had was like, I, I, I think was, i have something in my throat <clears> throat> i was i was walking what? around half dead oh my god uh, i had an illness i was dizzy i was uh my i had bricks on my chest i had no, all no, kinds of things ever have bricks on it your was chest. horrible it was but i came to work every single day because somebody had to leave uh anyway i mean i did i was i was crap last week i'm not even gonna say i can't even say i had so much going on but i mean so in your opinion was god have survived the coronavirus i think he would have yeah but that being said being that he's a man i'm sure he would have taken it much harder he'd still be down average female he'd still be down he'd be down and out <laughs> he might need a bell by his bed i don't know there'd be there'd be lots of lots of necessities no, I had to come. I had to come entertain the 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 area here on the radio. I somebody had to come do it every morning. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, even so though now, I had a touch of it. Sister, are you going to start <laughs> tuning in every morning from eight ten to ten to listen to Scott in the morning do his show? I might. I didn't know this was a thing, but I, I am very happy that I caught you guys. Yes, on air. I'm, I'm glad you did too, and I hope you listen. Uh, we have some people who live in New York on the show quite a bit. Oh yay! Good. Yeah. We're we're very cosmopolitan on this show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it's, it's hey, wait a second the before. This isn't. But, yeah, hey, relax. It's radio. It's not television. Tell us the most embarrassing thing Abby ever did. Uh, oh, cleanly, oh, cleanly. Go oh ahead. Oh my gosh, sister, what? Go ahead. Hit oh, us with geez. it. Um, most embarrassing thing. I, I mean, I'm sure she has way more stories about me than I have about her. And <laughs> um, you know, yeah. we used to call her back in the day. She was Ab's cab. So she would be like the DD that would drive everybody around. See? Um, but there's definitely, I, I mean, I went to Ohio University, so as you can imagine, when she would come visit, we had some fun time. Um, I remember at oh least gosh. once. Like, You're on air. Her, remember that. Hey, hey, hey. I know. Like, <laughs> I'll, turn her, I'll turn her mic off if you need to. <laughs> once her, like, you know, being, hugging the, the, the toilet in my bathroom and, and, at, yeah. at OU. Um but for the most part, she was always... It was those shots we had to do at midnight with, like, for, like, <laughs> Tim and Faith or whatever it was at the time. We did, we did do shots to Tim and Faith, yes. We did shots um, to Tim and Faith, and it was, like, the OAR in the background, I think, that really got us. Maybe Red, Wanting Blue. People don't yeah, ever believe that, like, we saw them. I was like, no, they were at OU bars. Like, they, we saw them. They were, yeah. yeah. I was like, I knew them before they were famous. We're practically friends now. Absolutely. And there were <laughs> kegs of Natty Ice involved, which yeah. takes you to a whole other oh, level. Oh, God, so, that's you know. next level. Do you know she used to chew other people's gum? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Sister, oh, we, that's... Al- we also used to have, like, slap fights with oh, my brother and her and myself. Fight. So it, we would just have some drinks and sit in the bar and see how hard we could smack each other. That's legit. We did do that. Why in God's yeah. name did we do that? We I did that. I have no idea. I have no idea. Those, those are some good stories. stories. We did. We were funny. I miss my I probably I miss have my more, but for the most part, she was, she was abs cab. Uh, well, hey, that's a new nickname. I like it. We'll it's work it out It's better than, here. like, the Incredible Bulk. I thought you were going to, like, bring that one up when you oh, said that. Oh, there, there is definitely yeah. the Incredible Bulk, too. Yeah. But well, where did that come from? What's... Baby. I was super fat when I was little. Oh, so, like, the they, Incredible Bulk. Yeah. Ooh, they shoot. called me the Incredible Bulk. Oh, that's no. interesting. See? She would have the little onesies, and, like, she would grow out of them but still love them, so we'd cut the feet off. Cut the feet off my and feetsy so, jammies. Yeah. All right, sister. Good God. Love you, sister. Love you. Thank you for calling. Thanks for calling. Bye-bye. Yeah, it was fun, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> Sarah from New York. Jeez. Abby's sister. How about that? Not to be confused with Jenny from the Black. That's yes. right. <laughs> yeah. Now, she was good. Yeah. Ab's cab. I know. There See, you go. Yeah, because I used to have to be the sober one for all of them. Do you believe so that? Nice. Do you believe that? <laughs> You're so nice. We totally believe that uh, yeah. right now. Right now. Exactly right now. Listen, we believe that you are sober as could be. I'm cashing it in now. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Got Somebody it. Somebody else's turn. She's in New York. She can't even pay me back. She sounded very nice. I can't <clears throat> believe she's a family member of yours. Stop. Is that blood relation? Stop. Stop. No, I liked her. She's very I sweet. I have nothing but nice things to say about her. From what I heard, she sounded very nice. A nice name, Sarah. Yes. A nice girl. Sounded very nice. I like her. I do, too. You, I on the other hand. Sister. The jury's still out. <laughs> the jury is out. But you were back to talking about this video. The because video. it was so nice of me. Okay. And so let's but here's the real that. story. Because here's the real story Ugh. of the video. Okay. 
she made this video for me, which is very nice. I don't know why this is such a bad thing. But as soon as she sends me the video in a, an email, which I, right. I didn't know it was coming, uh, she said, now don't tell anybody <laughs> that I made this video. Because. I, how do I know that's not serious? It's through a, a message. I mean, how do I know you're not being listen, serious? It was serious because I didn't want you to be like, for, like for credit. And there's people that like, I didn't want to like, like, you know, with videos. Uh so I put this, I, all I put was, <laughs> was that it was a nice I'm video. I'm trying to talk cryptically for you, Scott. So like, you, you know. Did, what were you trying to say there? Say that again. I didn't, she was trying to. I didn't want to upset anyone with protect videos. Protect you. I'm like, protect you. Oh, like, wait, you know. don't talk anymore. Don't talk anymore. <laughs> no, stop. Stop. Enough. Enough. So. I was saying. Hey, between the Whoa, lines, I didn't, Scott. So, in any event. <laughs> stop what, talking. Stop what, talking. What, what happened was. Uh, she says, don't say this. So then I just put that somebody made me a nice video. I didn't even put the video up. And so yeah. many people said, well, we want to see the video. Yeah. And I, okay, well, I got to put the video up. But again, I said, I'm not telling you who it is. The person doesn't want to, I, it, it's anonymous. So I put the video up and bam, like 60 comments. And uh, then all of a sudden she said, well, no, I don't care if you tell people. She sent me a message. I don't care if you tell people. And then I went on the air again, and I said, I want to thank whoever made this video. I knew who made it. Mm -hmm. And she messaged me and said, seriously, you can tell people. Because you're like, well, I don't want to say it because I don't know if I have permission. And well, she because said, you to told it. me not I'm like, to well, say it. I'm like, well, you can it. say it, but I, because I didn't want it to be like, a, I didn't want you to put it on Facebook and be like, so like, it's not for credit. It was because, like, it was, you had said, I mean, how many times did you say you wanted a nice career video? Like three times. And you gave every me day. so much. It's not true. Every it day. Like, don't every lie. Day. You're Since under October. oath. You're under oath. She is under oath. And it was like a thing with you. And I was like, okay, I will do that because I know how to no, do it. No, it all started because you made a video at one point and you that said. you gave me a lot of crap for. I did not. Oh, that was the, no, that was not. like the, really? the one thing. No. When she texted, I, I will. Oh. I will. I did. Boom. Oh, yes. I can't even yes. say what you said in that text. It <laughs> no. was so bad. You will get censored <laughs> you, for that You one. were you ooh, be fine. upset. You are not a doctor. <laughs> you cannot say those words. Oh, no, I can't say that word. So you came at me with, like, and I thought, oh, I wasn't going to make fun of it, though. A hundred percent you were going to no, make fun no, of it. No, I was going to say. Michelle. No, it, I really wasn't. It was a little. <laughs> you are I so remember. full of it. You were 100% You're like, people might get videos, and we knew exactly right, what you but, were talking and, about. And as soon as I got, because it's a 30-second delay, and, and man, I got this nasty message. Like, if you talk about that, something bad is going to happen to you, and I can't uh, say what bad things. Not, yeah. But so, in any event, after we did that, uh, that's when the whole video conversation, it hasn't even been a month. That was Valentine's Day. So it hasn't even been a month that this conversation has been going on. Right. And I said, oh, because I felt so bad because you <laughs> felt I was so condescending about this video. Because which you I, were. No, I was not. Condescending. I was there not condescending huh? about uh -huh. the video. And I thought, I would like if somebody made, I wasn't telling you to make me a video. I was saying, I would like that. I think that's a nice gift. I think flowers and candy, forget it. But mm -hmm. a video, that's Good. Right. Homemade things are always from the heart. Yes. They're the best. So I that's agree 100%. It. And you did it, and that was I nice of you, and yeah. I appreciate it. And a lot of people liked it, and they were sharing and commenting and mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. I think that's cool. It made my career look a lot better than it actually has been. Yeah. Excuse me. I Well, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. That was the whole point. It was to, like, make you <sighs> smile. And you had a cute little reaction whenever I said it. You said what you were like, what did you do? Which I knew was, like, a genuine reaction I, to I that. Was And shocked. that was really nice. I never thought you would do that. Because even though you said it didn't take time, it took, you had to think at some point on your free time, and you've got a life, not much of one, but you've got one, <laughs> and you had a life. I take point, the video back. I take it back it right now. It was a joke. It was a joke. Delete. But you've got, you, you, you have time, you know, and you had to put the, get the pictures. You had to go to the Facebook. You had to put them in there. I'm sorry. Did you just say the Facebook? The Facebook. Yeah. You had to do all this stuff. He also says tape. Like, we're taping. I do say that, too. I do I say know. tape. Well, it still is tape. I know. I don't. Recording? I, I hate it. I, no, no. It's, you don't say that. There's you don't no say tape. tape. No, but you, tape? people were saying tape even when it was records. I still say tape at home. Like, I've got to tape a show at home, Like which is so stupid. So you tape a record? You used to Instead say that. Instead of record a record? You, you would record say that. Record. Record you a record. This is what's wrong with the English language. Mm -hmm. What do you call this? So record what are we, we're record. Digi we're digitizing right now? We're digitizing. I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> no. I'm just listening. This is called letting the tape run. Okay. So 
Did yeah. you know that? What was the point of this conversation? The point of the conversation you was made that the video. I made the video. I was appreciative. Say, right. I gave a genuine, nice response. I couldn't believe you had done it. And it did take time. And that's why I was genuinely appreciative of it. Because no matter how little or a lot of time it took, you had to think about it. You had to do it. You had to put it together. And you had to send it over to me. So there you I go. Did. And it was hard to send it to you, which, why, which is why I do it in email. I couldn't figure out how to condense it to make it, uh, like send you you know because you don't you don't have the texter scott right so you he doesn't text and he, and he points with one you finger know, and does things so you just send texter. him stuff on like that is i think that's what that's you call a, it that, that's what you call that is what you call it he, yeah but we, what did you say hmm? that's condescending go ahead is that condescending that's text- condescending <laughs> yeah. when it's actually what he uses though no that's good you're saying it to be condescending go ahead <laughs> you access you the facebook the on your texter yeah so, i got it yeah. <laughs> so I couldn't figure out how to send it to you via like a message on that. It wouldn't get small enough. So I, that's why I had to send it to you an email. And the video came out. Yes. And, and here's my favorite part of the video. I didn't watch it all the way through. Okay. I didn't realize you were in it I until you pointed it, it out to it? me. I was like, because he said he never watched it. I was Have like, you ever oh. watched it? I watched it. I didn't watch it all the way through. And I didn't realize that you guys were at the end. Well, hold up. Somebody made you a video and you didn't. <laughs> you know what I was talking about? Somebody said it and I was like, oh, so you haven't even seen that I, like, Michelle and I are in it. We had to put your highlight of your career there at the very end. I was so impressed. I didn't make didn't it to the end, it. but I it actually, was nice. I did that as a little, like, funny, you know, because clearly we are, you know, new to your life in this. New not, to my life. Yeah, not necessarily life. like. You a, and Buster Douglas, you're, you're new to my life. Well, I wouldn't say that we are like a, you know highlight of your career or anything like that so i kind of just did it as a funny thing you had there. betty white in there i saw that i was and you had b arthur and uh who was uh, there were some nice people I, I felt like i'd done so i forget you you forget that you talk to these people but i the picture that you put in there i and this was for spite and i know it was for spite oh. me with the clown nose on <laughs> me with the red clown nose on which was for red nose day like four years ago i remember and Why'd you put that in? That has nothing to do with the career. It, was just a, it is your career. It was a funny little thing it's that you funny. did. It was a community sh- thing. You were show you're a good sport. Hilarious. It was a community thing that you did. So why not? That's it's a local it's a local thing. It was a local thing. So that's mm-hmm. number two tonight on the subject list. Coronavirus followed by video. Yep. Very nice. Friday is Friday the 13th. Right. It is uh, our second Friday the 13th in so many... Didn't we have a Friday the 13th? No, it was a Valentine's Day. That's like Friday the 13th. We had a full moon <laughs> this week as well, right? Full we, moon. Yeah. Coronavirus. Leap day. Friday the 13th. It's going to be a day Friday. And Saturday is Pi Day. Pi Day. I think on Friday what kind I'm going to get injected everybody injected like? hmm. on the air. You're going to get injected? Yeah, Friday the 13th. I'm going to get injected with the coronavirus right on the air. <laughs> We'll have you sweating by the end of the day. Why well, bricks on my chest? And what was the other symptom you have? Coughing, coughing Lots nonstop. Of coughing. Be a heck of a show Friday morning. Mm-hmm. Tune in. Don't miss that. It'll be just better, a little better than you felt last week, right? Somebody might be coming in with a hazmat suit, a celebrity. I can't tell people who yet because we haven't quite confirmed it. But it could be a big thing Friday morning. Right. Okay. Back to our road trip podcast. We weren't we're talking about the road know, trip but podcast. You talked- <laughs> what are you <laughs> back to? Because, well, last time we did. So here's the thing. Gee, have you figured whiz. out who we're going to interview yet? Who's the famous person, Michelle? I don't know. Why can't you tell us yet? It's been a whole we, week. Because we don't have the thing on the road yet. We got to get a date. We got to get a thing on the road. And then I'll tell you. I need to prep for this, though. Hey, Sean might be listening. Sean, get the car ready and get ready to leave somebody up in Michigan. That's what's going to happen. Detroit. Uh, you won't make it. For the, what the, reason? The streets of Detroit. What am I gonna? What, what's gonna happen there? Well, you might end up on the streets of Detroit. You're leaving me. Cobo Hall. We're gonna drop you off right in front of Cobo Hall. That's a that's a rough part of town. I don't know where you're talking about. Well, you'll you'll find out soon. Is that enough. where Eminem's from? Yeah, that's where right Eminem's off, right from. Right off Eight Mile. He's hanging out right there. That's sweet. So <laughs> there's gonna be a celebrity up in Michigan. I'm gonna take you two up there, but we're gonna record the uh, podcast. Trip. Yes. Yeah, it'll be a trip. It'll be a right. two hour edition of this. Oh boy. Educational piece. A <laughs> two-hour trip. I mean, if you take, you're really building this up, though. So if we go up there and it's like some dud celebrity, yeah. Then what? Who do you know? Who? I mean, dud celebrity. What does that mean? I don't want to go um, up there and meet like. If, I don't know. if it's like the movie trivia questions, I mean. What's wrong with? The, oh, no, wait a second. <laughs> What do you mean? I, I put your Notting Hill in there. No, but you pulled oh, stuff a funny out story. of like 1952. Okay. Here's movies. a funny story about Notting Hill. Okay. Are you kidding? I'm I, just I, a girl. I, what's the line again? Standing in front of a guy. Yeah, good. Asking him to love me. Here's the thing about it. A boy. A boy, boy standing in front of a boy. 
in any in any event. I like it when you say, I'm just a girl. Could you say that again? <laughs> I will in a minute. <laughs> so I had never seen, I still have not seen this movie. I thought you rented it. I rented it, and I never got to watch oh, it in the gosh. week I had it, so I ended up taking it back, and I never watched one minute of it. Do people really rent movies still? Uh, it's free. Like, it's it's free. Oh, it, was the li- it was the library. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the library. Like, Hold out his blockbuster I didn't car. know people rented <laughs> <laughs> movies. Still. I was buying tape and renting movies. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was doing. I was out on the town. It was a Saturday night. Right. <laughs> Blockbuster used to be banging on Friday nights. Though, yeah, that was right? a place to be. That's where I would go. Blockbuster. I so, went to Blockbuster. Yeah. Well, who Same. wouldn't? Same. And if you found the movie you wanted that came in the return pile. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I I just got to see this movie, though, is the point. I still haven't seen it. I All I've seen is the line. It's got to be in like the $5 bin. Where you grant... Store. Is or stream it Roberts. on your Roku TV you have. You do have that, right? I do have a Roku. I bet you could find it. But I fight with it every night. Uh. <laughs> Me and the Roku have a fight every I'm night. I'm dead. I Seriously. can't <laughs> with you. You didn't even know you could use your phone for the Roku. No, I, I honestly, I am, I am not tech savvy at all. You like with your trivia and your And celebrity. your answering machine <laughs> and your landline. I'm a little envious of the answering machine. Listen, but. I, yes. I try to keep it simple in life. But you know what? You have that landline. So when all cell phone towers go down, <laughs> I know where I'll, to go. But who Scott will I has call? A landline. He uh, is prepared. I am prepared. It doesn't need you a... You can call the governor. I can we call need, the governor. We governor. Need, governor. We need to get on. Number, though. We need the home number. Oh, yeah. we got to find your no, home number. No, you can't number. have my home number. But oh, I'm going to find it. It's unlisted. I need to leave you messages. Oh, we'll like. find it. So I have the answering machine and the home phone number. Mm-hmm. And uh, But I, I, why would I know that a Roku... You know, I could make a tablet into a remote. Everything hey, is an app. Also, my seven-year-old knows that. Well, I'm go- he would. That's his thing. But, you know, that's not my thing. But you're so much younger than us. You should know Boy, these things. Boy, you got that right. I mean. There's no doubt about it. But don't you feel in life you should try to keep it as simple as possible? Yes, I do. So you're not sitting during a live radio show podcast taping and texting? I'm sorry. I have to make sure that, like, but people they, get home and, like, is simple, life is like, happening right now. The phone app is simple. You always, most people... I do it have now. Have their phone, and you just click on the app, and you don't have to look for the remote because I, our dog steals all our TV remotes. I have it now. On your t- on your. Uh, it's on my tablet. I take my tablet to bed tablet, every night. Though, not his oh, phone. Not the phone. No, I take a tablet into the bedroom. Does your phone even I... get apps? <laughs> Scott, that sounds personal. Anyway. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you take your tablet into the bedroom, and then you get your Roku going. You know, if you said that back in the 80s, people would, what? You get the Roku on the Facebook. The Roku and the Facebook. We're not even onto the topic yet, and we're halfway done here. We're halfway home. Okay, here we go. Let's get to the real topic of the the show. You know the topic. I don't remember. You made the topic. You made the, you did. (laughs) This is all you. You know what? You were, I was listening to you on on the radio, though, and that's the reason it came up from something, a Facebook post you or know what on the is. radio. So something. go ahead. Go ahead. It's trust. What's the trust? But it's something you posted that made me think of the topic. Because last time it was forgiveness and now it is trust. I'm telling you. I think the same thing happened with forgiveness though. We talked about it for like two, two seconds. seconds. It was our no, topic. No, we did it. We did it. Because it became, you're not a forgiver, I'm a forgiver, Michelle I will forgive anything. I, I remember a that. Forgiver. That is not it. I was. Don't totally. go back to. This is not forgiveness. This is trust. Blah. Like, this is why we have to keep the banter, Scott, because you, I can't be the nice one. So I said, don't tell I me I did nice I never said you things. were the nice one, but I said you did a nice thing. Like the blueberry dumplings, the video. You are such a Nice pill. things. Hey, I made those blueberry dumplings yesterday. I'm such a... <gasps> How they turn the out? The kids loved them, but I really think you used maple syrup the first time. I, I, 100% I didn't use maple syrup. I didn't have any. 100% I didn't use it. They were good. Did you feel like you were missing something in yours? Yeah. No, I but wouldn't it was have okay. had any They were really good. The kids loved them. Lemon did you, zest. Did you cut I, your I knuckles just, making lemon zest? I did make lemon zest. Did and you? real, li- and I squeezed the lemon. You didn't invite That's me what over? I did too. What's I wrong with you? I squeezed lemon juice, too. Mm-hmm. No, I did it at work. You didn't invite me to work? Sorry. Blueberry. I'd have what been right they? there. I'd have came oh, right over. The kids loved it with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. It was good. The issue is trust. Yes. So go ahead. What do you think of trust? Do you trust people? Are you trusting? I am pretty trusting, yeah. I think it's like to a fault most of the time. Yep, me too. So there's that topic. Wow. <laughs> What's and the next there's topic? trust. That Moving on. that one right up. <laughs> No. Uh, What does it take for you to be, uh, what do you call, skeptical of somebody? 
it's a vibe. Like, I mean, I can pick that up right vibe. away. It's definitely a vibe with trust. I mean, for someone new. Yeah, I, when I first met you, I got that vibe. You got that vibe. I got that vibe Still meeting right number away. one. I said, ooh, man, can't trust this person. It's definitely a vibe. I get that. Yeah. But can it be an act? Because, like, somebody you just met, you get a vibe. I don't trust that person. Mm -hmm. But can you trust somebody and lose trust? Well, sure. Okay, well, what would cause that? If they did something, I mean, as an action that would so make no, you what lose would make, trust. Because I can think somebody, a big one for me to be, I, I would lose trust in somebody, would be if you, I, I've said this before, and I think it was the uh, forgiveness thing. If, if, I, if you lie to me, and I find out that you lied from somebody else, mm -hmm. that's it for the forgiveness. I can't forgive it. I, I can, I, we're done. So trust is the same thing because it's trust issue. If I find out you, if you, if you tell me you've lied to me, then I can. Yeah, I get that. I get it. But if, if I find out through some, a third party mm -hmm. that you lied to me, or I happen to find out myself that you have lied to me, there is no trust. I can't. Right. It's gone. And I, I can't, well, that'll be the third party, but that's that's why I'd lose trust. Go so ahead. So you don't give any second chances. Once that trust is gone, you don't um, even think that you can, like, that's, go back. That's the next part. But the oh, question okay. is, that's what makes me lose trust in people. Liars. You said, what's an issue? That's an issue for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Lying is definitely a huge, lying, lying, cheating, stealing, those are, like, the worst three things, right? That's what breaks your trust. And I don't just mean, like, in, a, like, a physical, you know what I mean? Like, it's bad. That lying, it, any of those things, breaks your trust. Stop staring at me like that. You were so strange. Like, stop. <laughs> Golly. Well, I was just waiting for you to self-destruct over my, there. You just kept talking. My, I thought, yeah, if that's my ML, like, in, right? Like, just keep talking. Just keep swimming. Wow. Just keep talking. There's wow. no self-destruct. That wasn't even the time. <laughs> That you wasn't know what? even near the question that I asked. <laughs> yes, it was near the question. Like, what is going to make things, you not be, trust? Be, 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 ne, ne. <laughs> That's what it sounded I quit. like over I there. I quit. I quit. I put alcohol in his room. Your oh. show will sink without <laughs> that me. That was okay? hilarious. Listen, Michelle, tell us about trust. I thought we covered it. No, already. we haven't. What would cause you to lose trust in somebody? Lying. Lying, cheating, or stealing. The yeah. thing you lose people. <laughs> and then you're like, no, you're like blabbing on and on. <laughs> <laughs> Lying. Get her drink. Stealing. Um, <laughs> no, don't you dare take my drink. <laughs> She's not going to make it the next 23 minutes if she keeps this drink up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lying. Lying. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> sure. Now, the next part of this. Yes. Do you want to introduce it? Do we have another part? Well, like yeah. second chances. Is that your right. next part? Can you, mm -hmm. if somebody loses your trust, can you get it back? Yeah, but they just can't. They. It has to be like behavior change you have to earn it you, you can't just it. expect it oh yeah. see i'm nope it's your hard nope. and fast like trust time. is gone it's gone so really mm -hmm. i can i can deal with you so if we say we're gonna bring you a diet coke <laughs> and we don't it's a deal breaker <laughs> <laughs> he forced me to go get a diet coke today forced her he was like this cheese is nasty and i need <laughs> something to drink i was like okay then go get it <laughs> That's exactly how it looked at his face. You gave me some <laughs> awful cheese today. Some I awful. Didn't, I don't even know where the cheese came from. I have no clue <laughs> where the awful. cheese came from. So why did you give a second chance before at one point in your life and it backfired? So now no. you're just like, nope. No. No, no more. No, I don't think I ever did. I think what it is for me is, is in a trust issue, um, I can talk to you. I can deal with you. I can be around you, but I will never trust you again. Because we have, you know, it's, okay, it's like a, a rainy night. We had a rainy night a few nights ago. Mm -hmm. If I'm driving my car, okay, and it's raining, and I go off the cliff, and then I come back, and there's another car coming down that road, and I, I wait, I say, hey, listen, don't go down there. You're going to go off the cliff just like I did. Now, that's your choice. You can go up there if you want, but you're going to go off the cliff. But my guess is you shouldn't go up there. You should listen to what I say. So that's it. I am not going. That was a good metaphor. <laughs> this whole so story confused. like was like just worse than me. No, like, it's, it's drowning it's, five minutes ago. No, like, it's, you, it's, I, I, can, I, I know that hurts you, but listen. <laughs> I don't understand. No, it's I. I can. I can deal with you. I can talk to you, but I will not trust what you say anymore because you've lied to me. You've you've clearly breached our trust. And how do I know you're not going to lie to me again? Do you set that standard with the person, whoever it is? Yes. 
Anybody. So you say, like, you know, we can still be friends, but I just, I don't trust you. Like, you're uh, going to have a, be around them? Like, I don't, like, or you just cut them It depends them on the situation. I mean, cut, if. Do you ghost them? <laughs> I ghost them. If I'm, if I'm working with somebody, I might have to be around them. Okay, I get so that. I'll I'll talk, your, yeah. So I'll talk to them, but I'm not going to trust them anymore. Hmm. Trust is gone. Trust is a, a a very to me that's the number you know that Prost questionnaire they put out we should do that sometime that'd be a good I don't know good show about. of course the, you don't the what it's called the Prost questionnaire it's in one of those magazines like Vanity Fair or why does it give me that of course you don't of course you <laughs> are you reading Vanity Fair no no it's in the magazine though is every it in your month subscription Variety Cosmo? I think it's in Variety Variety. They put it in the back, and it's it's, it's a psychological, it's a it. it's a psychological test, and it's like open ended questions, and one of the questions is uh, something to do with uh, trust. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Give me an example. What are you talking about? I don't have it. What in is front an open ended question? Like, I mean, the, the, if someone's driving off a cliff, I yeah, don't know. Somebody's open. No, that you know, if I'm working with you, can I? work with you after trust is breached yes i can work with you and i can talk to you mm-hmm. but am i gonna bu- do i think you can change no i don't because i think uh trust is a virtue that's where i was going i had to get back on track there in my mind after you dumped on my press questionnaire <laughs> what is your what is the most overrated virtue uh it's not it's not trust to me trust is the most important virtue that people have and i think trust is a virtue Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. I give second chances, so I don't know. I give second chances to like different things. Like I, I think, think people think they give second chances. I don't, I don't know, know if they do. I think in the back of your mind, like you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, mm-hmm. shame on me. Mm-hmm. And I think you you might forgiveness is something different. Forgiveness was last week. For, yeah, I can forgive, but I, I'm not going to trust you. That's something different. Right. You know. Like, um, what's something somebody could do that would be bad? Like, uh, murder somebody, okay? <laughs> if, if somebody, That's real bad. If somebody murders somebody, right. okay, I'm not going to put them in the room with somebody who I think they might want to murder. Now, even though they tell me they're not going to murder them, I, I'm going to think, ooh, you know, I don't really trust that because you've done that before. Yeah. It's like, do you leave a bank robber alone in a bank if they tell you they're not going to rob it this time? Well, no. no. Well, why not? If you've forgiven and you've given trust back, you would leave somebody else in there who well, might rob the bank. I think it's like has different levels. You don't extremes. ever really give all the all the trust back. I mean, I don't. That's, think you isn't ever that what really I just said? Uh, you cannot <laughs> give all the trust back. I'm just agreeing. You can forgive, but you can't. Right. I think it would take, depending on the level, um, lots of time. Okay, so a bank robber say they robbed a bank. I don't know, 25 years prior. Yeah. Okay. It's 25 years later. But wouldn't it run through your mind because they were a bank robber? To where if somebody else... Does that mean you don't trust them? Yeah, because it runs through... But isn't leaving them there trusting them? No, but I'm saying it runs through your mind. Even if it runs through your mind. Are you sweating? (laughs) (laughs) Even if it runs through your mind, if you leave them there, that's a form of trust. No. So skepticism is not trusting. No. Skepticism and yeah, if you're skeptic, if, if you're a skeptic, you by definition you're untrusting. It doesn't mean you don't trust somebody. You might have to, like uh, somebody who is not a kid person. Now, say somebody gets killed in a, a wreck, you've got to leave your kids with this person. You don't want to do it. You you don't trust them there, but you have to do it. I wouldn't but, do it. You, somebody's just died. You've got to go to the person who's just died. So you have to do it, but you're skeptical of doing it, which means you're not trusting of the situation, even though you did it. it why is it we tr- we tend to trust people we don't even know more so than people we know? In our lives? Until they give us a reason not to, because yeah. sometimes the people we know give us a reason not to trust them. We trust the weathermen. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't trust the weathermen. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I think that, see, forgiveness and trust are two different things, and I think that's why these were two different shows. You can forgive something that somebody lied about, but do you trust them again? I don't think you ever get to that point again, because you know them too well now. You know, it's Probably. like you just said with your sister. You have something on her. She's got something on you, even if it's a joking it's thing. It's a loving banter. It's a her, loving thing, course. but you've got stuff, and that's truth. A history 
You either have a history of truth or you have a history of lies. I mean, it's sad, but it's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but when you've been around someone for so long, say your sister or whatever, I mean, at some point, uh, some kind of trust is going to be, of course. Well, there's, I mean, you know, yeah. Broken. Well, there are levels, though. That's what I'm saying. There's levels. Well, like what? You just lied about hiding my popsicle? I mean, I might get over that. <laughs> she lies about stealing my clothes. Yeah. <clears throat> She's the pants thief. The pants. Yeah, but when you're a teenager and someone steals your clothes, that's a big trust okay. issue. Well, what is an unforgivable breach? That you can never. I mean, this is different, though. Like, I don't know about on a friend level. Like, on a relationship level, there are some certain unforgivable breaches. Well, you've been in several, so why don't you tell us? Oh, God. (laughs) You're going down. (laughs) You are so going down. (laughs) You know, you keep keep setting them up like that. I'm going to keep hitting them out of the park. Go ahead. You set them up. You set that up. I quit. You did. You, you, I, I said nothing about relationships. Like, go ahead. Definitely that's definitely stealing. What, that's what, all of this is, I mean, being honest, all of this is revolving around, like, trust and relationships. Like, it's not so No, it's not. To, oh, stop. In your own mind. It's not. I don't know. Really? I have not because even we just said come the here. word relationship. This, it's called paper rings. We haven't ever come on here and talked about I thought that, that was about coronavirus. Ring. Paper so, anyway. rings and toilet paper? Um, stealing, what? definitely, from people. I think so. Stealing's a big one, sure. Yeah. I said that though, and it was like crickets around here. Oh boy! I hope uh, this is a telemarketer. I don't know who this is. Oh lord! Oh, this could be bad. <laughs> okay, go ahead, caller. You're on the air. Hi. Hi. How are you? I know who this is. Who is this? <laughs> like, uh, this is this is Kaya. Oh. Hi. Hi. How so you she, you, she wants to talk about, you want to talk about trust? This is what it is? Yeah. This is what it. is your take on trust? Um, like the second chances thing? Yes. Um, I don't, I don't really believe in second chances, but I do. It is with certain people. Second chances think, with like boyfriends or girlfriends, like relationships, or second chances with like friends or parents or relatives, members, family like, members, yeah. Pretty much anybody, but trust is a big thing in relationships with those people. Yep. You're right. Once you lose it, it's hard to get back. It definitely is. That's an interesting point. I think we've told you this, right? Didn't we tell you this, like, when you were younger? Oh, yeah. Once you times. break your trust, <laughs> that's it. Is that I like once that. you break your leg, that's it? Yeah, break your leg, girl, you're done. Pretty much, yeah. 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 Take the horse out and shoot it. Trust is given until you have give us a reason not to trust. That's true. Very exactly. interesting. I know. Well, th- I think, are you, are you listening? She's oh, yes, I am. <laughs> well, I, well, what gonna, do you think of the show so far? I love it. Oh, good. I didn't <laughs> think anyone said it. This is the first time I've heard it, and I was like, wow. Uh-huh. I got a text, and she was like, tune in if you want to. It's fun. And I was like, okay. So I got in my car, and I... I'm so on. glad you did. Yeah, it's popular today. But you know what's the most yeah. annoying thing yeah. in the world, though? When somebody's sitting on air and chewing gum right in the microphone. i chewing oh, somebody no, else. It's somebody really else's I, gum. I heard it, and I wanted to text you, but, like... It's Michelle. It. She's chewing gum. <laughs> I was like, oh. Listen, girl, <laughs> don't ever rat me out. Do you hear me? It's okay. It's okay. Oh, <laughs> Lord, have mercy on it. <laughs> hey, well, thank you for listening. I hope you listen again and call in again anytime. Definitely, I will. Thank you. Bye. Bye. That's right. That's how you... It's a live show. I know, She's it's fun. Sweet. And you over She's there, so sweet. I don't know who that was, but... That's my Kaya. You're, that's my daughter Kaya. That's Kaya. Well, that was? Yes. Well, you're sweet. That's, that's what nice. Looked, when she's sweet, that's what I looked at. I was like, Scott. Well, I don't know who she is. I've never met her. Well, I know, but you should say you should know the name. You've never said her name in front of me in Have life. I, how many times? Oh, my God. Look, she has. See? She God, talks about you her. don't pay attention. Well, you, you, sometimes you talk, and I really can't exactly. make heads or tails of it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. You are so <sighs> difficult. She talks about you all the time. I'm sorry. Yeah, Go she ahead. just doesn't pay attention. She does. She does talk about I know. That's what I'm saying. I have a hundred times, and you just well. Obviously. Kaya thinks that trust. She agrees with me, so I tend to like her because there's a level, and yeah. when it's broken, it's broken. Like a mirror, you can't you can't put a mirror back I, together. I just feel like at some point something happened to make you feel that way. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's <laughs> when you were younger. Uh, to lose trust. I don't mm-hmm. think so. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I think I'd remember it. It definitely has, though, because you well, have we know, this whole... Well, listen, because you, you have a whole thing. About trust? About relationships. Relationships. And trust and and no, no, yeah. no, no, no. Definitely. I'm not fine. No. no. It's all great. No. no. They are? Sure. Wonderful. Now, anyway, 
the point is, is that what were you saying before the call came in? About what? You know, this is all about something. Because you always, always, whenever we're talking about things, it's like about relationships. No, it's, it's not. Of, so I was talking about stealing. I was talking about bank robberies. <laughs> you were talking about murder too, which murder has no and driving off a cliff and all but these sorts. But the sort base of, of relationship. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Wait. The the whole trust, the base of like trust thing and the forgiveness thing is all about like relationship is it? based. It was yeah when we we're like talking about what we're going to talk about. I don't care. Ew. You know, I really think like I'm thinking of like when you're younger. You definitely would tend to give more second Who's chances. drinking with all the ice on oh, air right God. now? That's so crazy. <laughs> Listen, we know you're angry. You're sweating over there. You're chewing <laughs> gum. <laughs> Michelle was making a point there. Could you just relax for a second? Not drink your diet. Oh. When you're younger, Go ahead, I think you tend to give more, like in relationships regarding that, more second chances based on trust because you're basing it on like, well, you're young. You're, you're stupid. When you you make some yes. really stupid decisions, and when you're young in a relationship, I'm talking about like high school. I mean, a few times, okay. Um, but when you're older, yeah, definitely one time, and the second time, you're definitely, yeah, no, no more, because we're gonna all die soon. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think you can judge other people. See, that's a big. No, thing. I, I don't think you can judge other people and say, well, well you did the wrong thing. No, not I don't. At all. But I think for yourself, you have to have some kind of thing in your own mind right definitely I feel like everybody's got a line like that's don't yeah. cross that line a yeah. breaking point everybody's got a breaking point what will be the breaking point what will be the breaking point <laughs> everybody does have a breaking point <laughs> that's for sure so the point though is because we've only got uh, nine minutes left here and it's good to end on where we started with the trust is that I think the problem is is that you can say you forgive somebody you can say you trust them again, but you really don't. See, people are all... We talked about this a little bit today at the end, mm -hmm. about how people will tell you things because that's that's the good thing to do. That's the good thing to say. We want to be good people. We don't want to be villains. But the truth of the matter is villains are far more interesting than good people. That's why... Uh, uh, what's his name? Joaquin Phoenix just won the Oscar. He was the Joker. He was nuts. He was the villain. Nobody, Batman people, wasn't even nominated. Sometimes people don't want to hear the truth. Well, and forgiveness, do. Is, forgiveness do. is for you. You do. I do. But there's some people that can't handle the truth. <laughs> Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Movie trivia. Movie Coming trivia. Got it. Got a trivia question. Forgiveness isn't for the other person. It's for you. Forgiveness is personal. So you're not carrying it around. The other person no, We're talking matter. about trust, not forgiveness. <laughs> you just talked about forgiveness. <laughs> You just were talking about forgiveness. No, I was not. Oh, my I God. Was... Did he not just talk about forgiveness again? And he was like, forgiveness no, is blah, I... blah, blah, and trust is blah, blah, blah. Listen to the replay, folks. And you'll, my, hear what... um... you'll hear it. You always forget what's on the replay. You tell us that all the time. <laughs> my oldest, I'm he's really... on that side. He really tells the truth. <laughs> like, I saw him the other day. He tells he, the truth. That is a nice boy. He, he came. Is. He, he is. I saw him, I think it was at the grocery store, and he. I didn't see him, and he came up to me and said hello and was very nice and... No awkward looks. No awkward looks at all with him. <laughs> well, he was I saw very nice. Stewart, he like acted like he knew us. Like I felt like he thought, and it yeah. was very sweet. Yeah, he's very. I, he's yeah, very well, nice. I could not. And, and, and when I first saw him in the grocery, I didn't know who it was because I'd only met him one time, mm -hmm. and then I realized who it was, and he was so nice and so personable and mm -hmm. so uh, just genuinely uh, conversational. He is. And for somebody of his age, that's kind of a rarity. Yeah, so I was like, really impressed. I said he should come on here. He should come. He can have he, it. He's the one that called you a communist. <laughs> he did call me. And now we've bonded over time after the whole communism <laughs> remark. What was that about? What were we? What was I talking about? I don't... What were we talking about that day? That was the first time we... Tuned in. Tuned in and all together. What were we talking about that? It was on Valentine's Day when we were all the no, first time. No, it was, was prior to that. It was... Because you were on Valentine's Friday. morning. I thought you, that, that's what you meant when we were both on together. No, no, this was just, I think, first listening time. Yeah. I forget what I was talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't we remember. We were off on um, something holiday from school. Yeah. It was like President's Day, maybe, or Martin Luther King Day, maybe. We were off. No, no, I think it was over the holidays because I was talking about, um, because a lot of people heard it was a real benign subject. It mm -hmm. was, oh, what was it I was talking about? Something about food, like apple butter or something like that. <laughs> apple that? butter. The apple butter episode. <laughs> uh a gravy episode? Is that what you're talking about? Could and have been called that. you a communist gravy not fan? Well, so, if so, that's a good example, though. Also, if my sister makes the best biscuits and gravy with me. Does she? It's a thing. I wouldn't even it's wouldn't even go near it. Whenever she's around, we make biscuits oh, and gravy. Oh, you know what it was? It was about Dirty Dancing. I just <gasps> looked it up. Because you, you hate coming? Dirty Dancing. Oh, I do. Yes. I do. Yep. I do. And he said, your hate for this movie sounds like communist 
propaganda. Oh, because I was saying nobody should watch it. Yeah, I remember that now. No one hates Dirty Dancing as much as you. Everybody does. Nobody does. It's awful. It's amazing. Have we ever come up with a point with five minutes left to go here? Have we ever learned what that movie's about? We've told you ten coming times. Of coming of age. Yes, what does that age. mean? She's forming her own opinions. It has all these different things in there that were controversial at the time. Her father didn't trust him, and look what happened. He, he was, wasn't the he, bad guy. Her he wasn't was the bad wrong. guy. Robbie was the bad guy. No, 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 no. Robbie's yes. the one. You think that, that the father wanted pregnant. her little, his little thing hanging around with that goofball? But he wasn't the bad guy. But Robbie was the Johnny bad guy. Johnny was not the bad guy. I don't even know their name. Johnny was Patrick Swayze. Yes. yes. And the other girl, what was her name? Which one? Baby. Baby. What, that was her name. Francis. 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 Okay. So, the father of Francis, the mm -hmm. guy from Law and Order. The doctor. Yeah. Well, he was mm -hmm. the guy from Law and Order, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, he did not like Patrick Swayze because he didn't trust him. But why? It was because he thought she yeah, but, he was but the one who got the he other trust girl him. Yeah, right. Because Johnny never broke the trust. Because he's some uh, fast-talking dance instructor. No, because he assumed. He assumed. He assumed. Assumption and what happened? get you bad places. What happened before the end of that movie? What happened before the end of that movie? He proved him wrong. He did? He did. Johnny was... You missed the whole movie. Have Johnny wasn't the one the who movie? got her pregnant. He decided at the end he liked Johnny because he? Robbie was the one who got the chick pregnant. <laughs> Penny. He... Who? Uh, see? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is your problem. You've not watched it, so you think it's just pointless, but no, there's, but there's beca points to because it. Because the girl was pregnant, he didn't like... He sways he didn't get her pregnant, though. No, but he did some other things with no, the Francis... No, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. Like, the dad didn't know about that, though. Well, I bet if he had, he'd been in, just, he'd said, well, I was right about him. No, he wasn't. Yeah, but guy. Robbie was with Penny and Lisa. Right. And that one guy's wife. But not Francis. Francis yeah. was his baby. That's why he called her baby, wasn't it? I That's mean. <laughs> right. <laughs> isn't that what he called her? I don't know. Everybody called her baby. That's what she right. said. Because she was the baby of the family, and she was a pure, clean girl. <laughs> and look what happened. Went yeah, but then they... I thought that movie was good. And it I made, like... It. Like, it showed that they're, like, guys that are hardworking are, can be good people. Like, they had the he college kid on there. It was people. a big weenie. It was, like, so... He, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the guy... He was a weenie. I didn't realize. He, he was. was. He, that was so awful of that dance teacher. He barely knew that girl. Really, Scott? So yeah. awful. Awful. I, I was disgusted. Uh, have oh. you not heard of, like... Really turned my nose about that movie. Watched movies with <laughs> summer romances and... Summer romances? Yeah. No. They were there for, like... A he, was the clock. All he was all on summer. the clock. He was on the clock. He was on the clock when no. this happened. It's not like, no. no, it's not like, oh, good lord. She was too. She was helping. Why? You're not so stiff about it. Like, if you were Johnny, you'd be like, cool, baby, no, let's I go. Wouldn't. No, I would No. <laughs> yes, you would. <laughs> no, he oh, would. Oh, jeez. That's no. way too proper for all that. That's way too proper. I'm Arms way too proper for that. And no trust. <laughs> no, <laughs> baby, not today. <laughs> No, I'm giving after, you dance instructions. Not after the father who uh, threw a big fit. The father didn't throw a fit. Wasn't uh, Patrick Swayze a lot older than her okay, as well? Line, have no. you ever First of all, you should never movie. date somebody younger than you. Ah. Ooh. Go ahead. That struck a nerve. Go ahead. Should we touch on that? Go ahead. Should oh, we? We're, we're on limited time. Should go ahead. Should we touch on that? Listen, go ahead. Why shouldn't you date yeah. somebody younger than you? It, it, trust me, it'll end badly. Does it? Go, yes, it does. What's it end in? Like ghosting and, and <laughs> yeah, all kinds of stuff. Does it? You never want to be there. Right. Just pretend you didn't show up. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just I don't walk think he away was that much like older than happened. her. Who? I don't. Think. I think he was. What was her? Uh, Jennifer Gray. That was her name. Yeah. 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 She was like twelve, and he no, was she like just graduated high school, and he was only supposed to be like twenty three or he something. He was. Yeah. He wasn't old. I mean, That's an awful movie. Yeah. And you've never seen the entire thing. You don't Clearly, even know what I it's, about. it's like watching a video about myself. I don't. I watch about three quarters of the way and say that was nice and go away. Mm. No, but no, now you just got your dig in about it. Ghost, ghost, ghost. That was a. I watched that. I didn't, I didn't like that either, but it was okay. It was better than Dirty Dancing. Ditto. Now, what's he say as he's going into the light at the end? He's dying. Ditto. No, no. Does he, he say ditto? He says something about you take the love with you or something like that. It's a big line out of Ghost. I haven't watched that movie in a yeah. while. I was but banned I like that from movie. Ghost for a while because that maybe that's a that's a nut. Why are all the movies he's in? It's so sad when she's sitting at the top of the stairs mm -hmm. with that jar and like oh, his ashes. She's got his ashes. Oh, that's no. sad. Yeah. Well, that happens. It's sad. Listen, we're all gonna go one day. You just gotta go. But you're not Make sure you have the person that's gonna pull the plug. Yeah, I, I do. I have them ready. Right. Oh, you camera. do? Oh, sure. Do they yeah. know it? 
Uh, I think they would pull the plug. What if they break your trust? <laughs> and, and leave the plug in? What if there's good hope and they're like, oh, I'll go ahead and pull it anyway? Uh, what do you mean good hope? Like you. What if you're like maybe not on your last breath? Well, then I'll probably the be there. Away. I'll be saying, hey, don't pull that plug. <laughs> Keep the generator in. You better make sure who's ready to pull that plug is actually your person. Do you think you really need... That's trust. Mm -hmm. That's real trust. Yeah. And that's the trust people don't have in their other people. You need a... You need a, a I've said this before. This is the best advice I'll ever give on this show. I don't know if I've ever said it here, but I know I've said it. Anytime you're asking somebody's opinion, like I'm pulling your plug or anything else, go to an unbiased person. Go to somebody who's not got skin in the game. Go to somebody who that has not happened to, like a bank robber. So you, know, you want me to pick a random person that's going to pull my uh, plug? Somebody you know. Who, I mean, you don't go up to a stranger, but you go to somebody you know who's not going to be emotionally invested. Oh, because emotionally invested is going to screw you up every time. To pull your plug? You yeah, because they're going to say, I don't want them to die. I love them. I don't want them to die. You don't want your mate pulling no, your plug. No, but if you love somebody, you're not, you don't want them to suffer I love. I would love to pull the plug on all the people that I love. You're not going to be... You're so, not going to yeah. just sit there and let them, like... It's hard suffer. to pull the plug. Who it's, are you going to find plug. someone that you trust enough to pull your plug, but that doesn't really care about you? you got to find a third person. Somebody, there's somebody in your... I'd be glad to pull your plug. You put me on that, and I'll, I would have no emotion at all, and I would Never take care of it. Never in a million years. Why? Would I let you pull the plug? I, you tell me what you want done, and I'll see that it gets done. Because I am not involved. I'm not a, a child. I'm not a significant other. I'm not a family member. I don't have any skin in that game. So I can come in and be totally unbiased and say this is what they wanted. You've got it. Somebody advice and speaking for you, third person, when you can't, you. that's why a lot of people use their lawyers now because they have no skin in the game. Well, you definitely have to go with what the person wants. But, so. but family and friends have a hard time doing that because that's their thing. That's their person. It's going to hurt them. I mean, is there really like a? I don't know. If, is there really someone that has to decide when to pull the plug? I mean, but, it's pretty well, much advised. No, but it's, now, it's right? like it, no, it's like relationships though too. If you See, here we go, but we don't ever talk about relationships. I was on doing this, show. this for you, uh -huh, right. but because if if you have had something done to you, like say you're young and you were dating two guys at the same time, if or you were chewing somebody else's gum, you don't go to somebody who has chewed somebody else's gum to ask them if that's okay because clearly they're going to say yes, that's okay because they've done it too. You've right. got to go to somebody who has no, ad, you know, uh, adverse opinion there. I think that person is probably just hard to find. Not really. I always tell the truth. So just find a good friend. You ask me anything and I'll tell you the truth. I tell the truth too. And I don't even like mind it, it, if it hurts your feelings too bad. True. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't intend to hurt anybody's feelings, but I, I can, I, you got to analyze the situation. And it's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. And then you say, go ahead or don't go. What Do what you want. Mm -hmm. There you go. This was interesting. And you <laughs> thought trust would not be interesting. Do you always trust somebody that tells the truth? Uh, and, yeah, until you have reason not to. If they tell you the truth repeatedly, I think... See, and that's an interesting thing to wrap this up. Because if somebody tells you the truth all the time and then you find them in a compromising position, I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm willing to say, okay. So there are levels, see? Well, yeah, but if I find out that it is true and that the compromising position is absolutely true and they've got no reasoning for it, well, then we're in trouble. Yeah. No matter how long you've been mm -hmm. honest. We, but no, but I'll listen to you. Why did you do this? Why did you rob that bank? Why did you... Uh, rob that bank. <laughs> <laughs> that is an interesting metaphor. <laughs> Why did you true. rob that bank? So you've known somebody, say, 40 years you, you find out they lied about, I don't know, and they've told you the truth for 40 years, and in one bad decision, done. <laughs> oh, no, not done. No. You I just don't trust them. I would have to think twice about trusting them in that particular situation again. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. you, did you, like, give trust? Like, you trusted Michelle and I from the minute we met you? Not you. <laughs> Got to be honest. Yes, he did. I just needed a minute. I was like hexing you with a curse right there. No, we, we've had a it's nice... There. We, You know, we, listen, I've said this before. I'll say it again. On air, people are listening tonight. From the moment, it's weird because I didn't know either one of you. We've had a nice relationship. We've had a nice, really strange in a way because normally it doesn't happen that way. 
that you become that friendly that quick and, you know, say anything and blah, 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 blah. But that happened, and I don't know yeah. why it happened, but it it's did. It's because we don't care. Like, if we, whatever, we don't get... We can just be honest, I think, yeah. right? Like, but not everybody can. No, well, that's a, it's everybody a rare can thing. be honest, but some people can't take the criticism. Uh, do you have a situation hold, like that? They hold it against you. Or? With two people who essentially were strangers, do you have a situation like that that you can like point to? And Oh, yeah, I walked in and two strangers, and within like weeks we were talking about personal aspects of our lives, and it became a friendship, and blah, blah, blah. Within six months, I mean, it literally has still only been six months. Mm-hmm. I, that is a very rapid, has that ever happened? I don't know. Um, I mean, I think that's the way it always starts, though, when you have like a, a new friend, right? Oh, no. well, okay, not really. I mean, you just don't really let you just don't you're for you. You just don't really let people in, though. No, I mean, I can't say that I jump off and like talk about all this stuff, but you just like. Well, you did. I the know. The second this. time I was with you, you were like laying it out there. Listen, shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Have we not gone over this? Are you trying to get me to walk out again right now? I've already quit twice tonight. It'd be good for ratings. No, has that, has that happened with you before we wrap this up? I'm not sure. I can't recall. I don't know. Next How many different ways can you say to, that? Right. <laughs> Next time I think we need to, like, just interview Scott. There's Paul. nothing to know. Nothing no, to know. No, there's lots to know. Is We're going to dive deep. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais I don't quoi. know. I don't know. Pa. Je ne sais quoi. Je, je ne sais, sais quoi. Pa. Which je ne sais quoi? I don't know. Is that Something? what that is? Je ne sais quoi. What did you say? Pa? It I don't is remember. Je ne sais pas. No, it's, it's je, je ne sais pas. No, pa. it's je ne sais quoi. It's not quoi. Yeah. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais. How do you say goodbye? Adios. Uh, sayonara. Adios, amigos. <laughs> Lucha libre. What? <laughs> I don't know. What are the good? Did you come up with a goodbye? We're here. We're at the end. Peace out. Peace out. Jeez, See ya. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be ya. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that was great. I know. Like Bye. you're like you it, but it's always up to us to come up with it though, Michelle. Yeah, uh-huh. like by week seven, you think you guys would have it. It's Are we on week, week seven? seven? It's week We're four. We're only on four. four. <laughs> Give us by something. seven. What? We'll do it. By seven, we'll by have seven it. you'll have it. What's Just here? something catchy, like uh, you know, Walter Cron. I thought about this after the last. Or your he- weird like tit song from last week. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa! No, 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 no! I'm a doctor. <laughs> oh, jeez, we gotta bleep the word now. Oh man, no! That- it was his song. Tell me it wasn't. And he's like, "This is gonna say goodbye," and it had nothing to do with goodbye. You just wanted to sing the song. <laughs> oh. oh that was the worst thing okay <laughs> that's the worst thing i've ever said back up <laughs> the song was about a college dorm <laughs> called titsworth oh. it's not what you just yeah. said those are two different things oh, oh my god <laughs> oh, the oh. mouth on this one jesus i might be on the air tomorrow i don't know yet we'll see <laughs> Just send the FAA to me, okay? Just send them to me. The FAA? Isn't the FCC? The FAA. Well, yeah, I'll send the FAA to you, the FCC to me. Holy moly. Okay. Oh. Well, we don't have a goodbye now after that. That was a nice little crescendo to end Wasn't on. Wasn't that a good that goodbye? Was a pretty good goodbye. That was a goodbye. All right. Until goodbye. What's the what topic to next time? Right. Why are y'all looking at me? We didn't decide. We didn't decide. We've, we've covered. I said I can't even talk and anymore. Y'all are looking at me. I can't talk I anymore came up with after this last that. One. That was so awful. So bad. Oh man. Oh. Now I really am going to take that little thing of you two singing last time. Put it on the air tomorrow morning. No. Great. Yeah, no. So Great. I'm going to put that on. That is Maybe Ryan Seacrest will discover us. Well, we've done uh, trust. We've done forgiveness. We've done whatever you just said. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so next time, well, you know what? If anybody has a suggestion, send it. Right. Yeah. We'd love to. They can text Abby because she's getting all the texts tonight she about gets this whole thing. Texters. Our go on, the texters. We got the texters. I'm the sorry, texters. I have Facebook. fans. Like, I've got fans. Go on Facebook. God. I cannot believe your daughter just heard you say that horrible, horrible word. Well, not the first time, I'm sure. I was going to say, listen, like, she lived with me. Like, she's heard me say aye, stuff aye, before. Aye. All right. Enjoy the show. Hope you enjoyed the show. It was fun. It was good. It was bad. It was the best of times, the worst of times. <laughs> it was all those things. That's a horrible book. I don't like that book. St- no, it was not bad. It was okay. So what do you say? Bye. 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 <laughs> yeah, bye. Bye. <laughs> now after, I'll use my, is it Scott Spears for Abby Croman, Michelle Whitaker, heading for the dugout. Are we? It's a current senator from the state of Utah, 
It's Mitt Romney. He gave a very impassioned speech with a 